My name is Pastor Heiden Kanyanga. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to discuss the topic entitled Born Again. What is Born Again? Today many people they do misunderstand the word Born Again. Some people say Born Again is a church. Some people say Born Again is religion. But now we want to know what is Born Again. What does the word Born Again? Mind you, Born Again, no one found it the word Born Again. Born Again was brought by Jesus Christ himself. So now we are going to Bible in the book of John chapter 3 verse 1 coming down to see to know what Jesus Christ said about this word born again. So come with me, let's read. John 3 verse 1 to 5. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, not that, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. For Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly I said to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So we see that Jesus Christ said, You need to be born again. If you want to go to heaven, you need to be born again. So what is born again? Born again is to be born from above. You know, everyone has been born. Everyone is born in the mother's womb. Everyone has been born. But now, this word born again, you need to be born from above. How can you be born from above? You need to accept Jesus Christ in your heart. You need to receive the Holy Spirit into you. That's when you can be born from above. Jesus Christ said, unless you are born of the Spirit and water. Water is meant baptism. When you, when you are being baptized, it means Die the first and then you raise up the first. So now you need to be born in spirit. As a Christian, as a believer, you need to be born again. So now, why did Jesus was say this thing? What was the whole meaning of this word born again? You no. Know, you are made of two natures. You are made of two natures. There is the spiritual man and then the physical man. So you know, you can see me here talking, but you cannot see the one who is talking. That's the spirit. Man, that the one that God breathed into Adam in the name of creation. So now let's read in the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. The Bible reads, And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and man became a living being. So God breathed. Adam, the breath of life, and then Adam became a living being. So we know that when God created Adam, Adam was not doing anything. Adam was like a dead body, just something that's dead, which is not moving. Until God himself had to breathe through his own breath into Adam's. So this is that every human being has the spirit of God in him. This is the reason why God gets angry when people are living in sin. We know that God is holy. God is righteous. So God gave us his own spirit. He gave to Adam. And then we are considered to Adam. Whether you are black, white, whatever color you are, we are all descendants of Adam. We all came from Adam. Because they were the first beings, Adam and Eve. So we all came Adam. So now, God told Adam and Eve that you see this tree here, don't eat this fruit. The time you eat that, you will die. Do you know what happened? Satan came to deceive them. And then they obeyed Satan. They ate the fruit of the tree. And then they died spiritually. You know, they were living physically, but in the spirit they died. Because before they sinned, God was to them. Adam, where you, was visiting them. And then they were responding, answering, God, we are here. 
that was his school name at this point time. So now, after they see that was it, they read height. When God came upon Adam, Adam, where are you? He said, I'm naked. He just failed to answer a simple question. God, I'm naked. But he said, I'm naked. You know, sin polluted their mind. He said, people are living. You know, their physical bodies are alive, but their spirit is dead towards God. If you to pray a prayer, God cannot hear you because your spirit is dead towards God. So now, Jesus Christ came to death make us alive. This is the reason why Jesus Christ said, you need to be born again. You know, your physical body cannot go to heaven. When you die right now, if you are supposed to die, your body will be buried. But now, where is the spirit going? It's either hell or heaven. So now, you need to choose where the spirit is going. So now, this is not what Jesus Christ will be born again. Because in heaven, we will be like angels. Our bodies are going to be heaven. heaven. God is the spirit, for example, but the people is the spirit, even the angels are spirit. So, even you, when you die, you will be a spirit. You go to heaven, you need to be born again, you need to be filled with the spirit of God. So, now we know that when Adam said, you can't just be part of the world, you can't be seen, and then, hey, all of this came to be, all of this came to be, everything, all mentioned everything, we know that is bad. It came because of the spirit, and because of the seed. Jesus Christ, because the Bible says, for God so loves the world. God loves us so much that He doesn't want anyone to perish. This is the reason why He gave us this one to be called the Son Jesus Christ. That whoever receives Him, whoever believes in Him, will have an everlasting life. He will perish. So Jesus Christ came to give us the Spirit again, which was dead. So I want you to read with me in the book of John 20. 21 and 22. John 20, verse 21 and 22. The Bible reads, So Jesus said to them again, Please to you, as the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. So we know that after Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, he died, he was crucified again. Three days after he raised from the dead. Now, this time he was shown to his disciples. He had given to his disciples and then he gave them the promise from the Father. See now, receive see now the Holy Spirit. If you believe in me, you see the Holy Spirit. So now, Jesus was breathed into them the Holy Spirit. So look from the Testament prayer. From the beginning, Adam and Eve, the Bible says, God breathed into Adam. And then we again, in the name of Jesus Christ, in this New Testament book of Penal, the Bible says, we again breathed into his disciples and then said, Receive the Holy Spirit. So now, this simply means that we are now living under the Holy Spirit. We are now having the Holy Spirit in us. So, you, the moment you receive Jesus Christ in the name, if the Holy Spirit comes in you, you cannot now say you need the Holy Spirit because it has already been given to you. Because Jesus first promised the Holy Spirit and then the Holy Spirit came. So he raised them the Holy Spirit. He gave them life again. This is the new covenant now to be a people. So now, see, I want to ask you a question. Say, how do you be a Christian? How do you be a Christian? So now, the Bible says, Jesus has said in the book of John, one verse 12, said, as many as you seek him, to be there, he has given the right to become the children of God. So see, it is all about receiving Jesus Christ. There are many people that say, I'm a Christian, but they have to receive Jesus Christ. But here the Bible says, as many as you seek him. So it's up to receiving him. And for example, if I'm giving you this Bible, if you don't take it, it's not yours. Unless you take it, you will see that it is going to become yours. So if you don't accept Jesus Christ, if you don't receive in your heart, As I said, it's born from above. It's like a family. If you have one child or maybe two children, if the pet child is born in that family, 
devotion is not your visitor. Even if your other children will not be glad that the child has a visitor, they say, We will welcome the child. Yeah, we can embrace that child. Wow, this child is, has come now in the family. Oh, he's our sibling. This is the same born again. If you repent, you turn away from your sin. The Bible says, they celebrate over one sinner who repent, over one sinner who cuts away from this family and they come to Jesus. So it means it's a family believers, a family of Christians. That's what it means to be born again. So you need to be born again. Your spirit, your heart it needs to be in your spirit. Your heart, the Bible says, who said in the book of First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, he said, don't do that your heart. Maybe your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit knows in you. The Holy Spirit lives in you. The same spirit that Jesus was to breathe in his disciples, live now in you and in me as who we live. So now you are no longer condemned. You must follow that way. If you live righteously, saved. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to watch more videos, just subscribe to my channel and watch the notifications so that you can watch other same ones about me. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Hi, thank you so much for watching my video. If you really like it, please, if you have been blessed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification so that you may be the first one to see my next video. Stay blessed. God bless you.